I know Dallas Willard made a few trips to South Africa in the he 80s. Did. We have we have some of those uh, some of that audio on on conversatio.org. Uh, how did he address the evil of apartheid? Hmm. Hmm. I think that's a, a very important question. Um, and anyone who listens to those, you know, those tapes, or uh, I think they were audio cassettes uh, in that day of, of his, he came to South Africa three times uh, during while apartheid was in place. Um, I think it's important for me to say a few things. I think it's important for me to say that he came essentially as a listener. Uh, he was very reluctant to comment and tell us, as it were, what to do. Um, and and I, I need to underline that. And it was something I, I, I um, respected a great deal. Uh, there was no sense of, of Dallas coming to tell us how to do, to do it here and how to witness uh, against the apartheid. He, he really came with a deep commitment to listen, to understand. We made sure as we planned those trips that uh, all his, uh, all his uh, teaching happened within very diverse contexts. So he had exposure uh, to, uh, to both white and black South Africans. And we also made sure that he entered into many conversations with, um, with uh, black Christian leaders just for his own sake, to have a sense of what, we were, of what we were wrestling with. And even while he didn't um, address the issue of apartheid directly in his talks, he had many conversations with church leaders who did have access to, um, to government leadership at that time. And very, and often in those conversations would uh, would encourage um, these leaders to put whatever pressure they could, you know, on the government to enter into negotiations for a, a democratic future. Um, what else? What else can I say about? And Dallas, being Dallas, you know, his clear focus was, and he believed this passionately that our great need in our country was for the transformation of character. Um, that if we were going to have, as it were, a new future in this country, we really would need new people and a new kind of human being. Um, and so he kept, a, if there was a challenge, he kept challenging us not to, in all our efforts for social change and social transformation, not to neglect the uh, gospel invitation and challenge uh, to personal transformation of character. 